Jackson and check this out. I've been printing these name block keychains on my Bamboo Labs A1 Mini 3D printer and they're very easy to m print and design and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the name block keychains. But first check out these ones that I've already printed. Now I'm going to go show you how to design them yourself. Go to Canva and then click this one right here that says create a design and then search for logo. Click the first one logo and then you're going to click text add a text box type in whatever name you're doing i'm doing my name so i'm Tim jackson and then make that bigger but in the center you're going to click on it click on this one it says canvas sans and then you're going to search for twister t u i s t r and then it's going to be this one just crucify it small, just make it a bit bigger. Next, you're going to click on click there. Scroll down until you see download. Make sure it's a PNG, and then you're going to click download. And then you're going to add a new tab, and then search up free SVG converter. And then you're going to um, scroll down to see the this one, free SVG converter, PCI. Click on that link and click upload a picture and, it, and then it should be the top one. So double, so double click that, scroll down. And next you're going to do, go through all the edges. And it's usually three or four that works. So I think three looks the best. So. Choose three and you click on um, download SVG and then you're going to go and open up Tinkercad and then create a new new, new design and then you're going to click import foods file and then the SVG that you just did should be on the top and click this and click open make it an art and then make the width 63 press enter and then you're going to click import and you're going to bring that in and also you're going to bring this thingy in and then make the um snap grid make it 164th inches and then we're going to do once you have imported this make the quality as high as it goes and you're gonna make the thickness point point two five enter and then you're gonna do click this button one two three times and you're gonna get each one there should be four of them and the first one should be default fill mode point two five the second one we're gonna make it Point one eight thick, and then make the fill mode a silhouette. The third one, you're gonna click on it. Make um the thickness point one eight like the other one. Click enter, and then make the fill mode outer line, and then make the line width point oh five. Click enter, and then for the fourth and last one. I'm gonna make the fill mode outer line and then make the line width 0.1 and make it 0.16. And then you check all of them and so they're all good. I'm gonna select all of them and then gonna go click this button and then click this circle and then this one in the middle. And then as you can see, there's one, two, three layers. And then next, what you're gonna do is get a a um a cylinder, and then get a cylinder that is a hole. And you're gonna make both of these point one one thick. And yeah, both of them point one one thick. You're gonna make the normal one, um. Point three by point three 
make the whole point one five, which is half of that. Five point one five. And then you're gonna select both of them. Once you did that, you're gonna click this align. I'm gonna go to the middle and then like that. Once you've done that, you're gonna select them both again. And then see this one right here? Group them. And then you drag this over to wherever you would like. I suggest right like try to do like here or in the middle right here area. And so this is Probably gonna be the best spot. Make sure that it's inside of it a tiny bit. And you're gonna select all of that, group it, and then once it groups, you're gonna um, select everything again, select everything again, and you're gonna click export, and then click STL. Once it downloads, you can open up Vamo Studios. Once you open that, you're going to click here, that's create a new project. And then you're going to click this button right here. And then click the top one and then click open. And then you're going to only need three colors. So you got, so make it three colors. And my color is going to be orange, black, and white. And we're going to make orange on the bottom. And then, and then we're gonna go make, um, and then you're gonna make select range height and then make this the height range max. And then you're gonna, and I'm gonna make the middle layer, um, white. So you're gonna click down, down there. And then for the last layer, I'm gonna do black. And then I'm gonna make it the top. And again, you can make these any color you want with whatever name you want. Once you have done that, you click slice play or slice all, whichever one it is. Make sure all of this is correct. And then once it finished slicing, once it finished slicing, and then click print plate. And then make sure all the colors are right and you have the correct colors in there. And you're press send. And then it's going to print. And then once it's done, we'll show you what it's going to look like. And here it is when it's done. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, Jackson out. Everybody listen up.